Hi, I want to make a quick reference list for how to have the healthiest pregnancy to get your VBAC or um, vaginal birth after two cesareans like I did. Um, again, everybody's different, but for me, this is what I did for my third pregnancy to get my um, healthy, successful VBAC 2C. So first of all, um, from the moment you find out, you want to start taking your prenatals and any other supplements um, to help you stay as healthy as you can. So real quick, I will show you. I use Rainbow Light. It is food-based, gentle on your stomach, um, vegan, and gluten-free. Then I also have calcium, as suggested by my midwives, and a gentle iron, and methylfolate, which is going to help you to um, make sure that your baby is nice and healthy, um, preventing neural tube defects, and preventing spina bifida. Definitely a healthy option to take is the methylfolate. Um, if you are currently working out, continue to work out and stay as healthy as you have been. Um, I had been doing CrossFit, so I continued my CrossFit workout. Um, I would monitor my heart rate to make sure that it wouldn't go over 140, um, just making sure I wasn't getting too winded and that I wasn't getting too out of breath. If my heart rate started to bump up and it felt like I, it was pumping too much, I would slow down a little bit because nothing is more important than making sure that you and your baby are getting enough oxygen because if you're not getting oxygen, your baby's not getting oxygen. So still work out, do what you need, um, what you've been doing, um, but don't feel like you need to beat any records. If you're not working out, starting a walking routine is perfectly fine. Begin walking 30 minutes a day, work up to about three miles if you can. That's perfectly healthy all the way through pregnancy. So I highly encourage exercising and staying on track. If you were previously a runner, keep on running. Um, there's a woman at my midwife's office that um, did a marathon up until she was almost 20 weeks, I believe. And um, the only reason why she stopped was because her belly was starting to get uncomfortable. Um, but if that's what you were doing before, keep on doing it. Um, and if you're not, then start. Start walking at least. Um, hydration. I um, aim for a gallon of water um, because I am... Number one, I'm still breastfeeding my third baby and I'm pregnant with our fourth now. And so I get these gallon water jugs. Um, you want to aim for three liters to a gallon. The general rule of thumb is take your weight divided by two and that's how many ounces you should have. But during pregnancy, you want more, especially if you're working out, you need to stay hydrated. Um, hydration prevents all kinds of aches and pains. Later on, you get ligament pulls and um, you'll start to have Braxton Hicks and some of that can be lessened or pain can be decreased just by staying hydrated. So make sure you're getting enough water. Sorry, I'm going through this so fast. I just wanna make sure I get all of the tips in here to post for you guys. Um, eat a balanced diet. I am a Beachbody coach and one of the best things I think that you can do is eat a balanced diet with all of the nutrients that you need. Um, with your vegetables and your fruits and all that. One of the best programs I think that there is is 21 Day Fix because it, you formulate it for your own need, for your own caloric need. Of course, when you're pregnant, you're not trying to lose weight. So you need to add your 500, um, 500 because I'm breastfeeding, but when you're pregnant, you need to add two to 300 more calories than you would normally have um, to support your pregnancy. So pregnancy, an extra two to 300 calories. If you're breastfeeding as well, then additional 500. So it's kind of hard for me to make sure I'm getting all my calories. So I see what bracket I fall into with my 21 day fix portions. And um, I try to get all of the portions that I need based on my calorie bracket. So I think it's pesky to count calories, but if you follow the um, color coordinated containers with 21 day fix, it's so easy. And whatever that falls into, you can eat all that is in those portions. Um, so that's a good way to have your balanced diet with vegetables and fruits and proteins and healthy fats. Um, really, I think that's one of the best ways to stay nourished. And another thing that helped me with my VBAC was watching The Business of Being Born documentary on Netflix um, hosted by Ricky Lake. She followed Ina Mae Gaskin, an amazing midwife, and that woman um, delivered all kinds of babies. And she really shed some light on natural birth versus hospital birth and kind of the run of the mill that you get caught up in there. Um, so if you're wanting to have a natural VBAC, I highly recommend watching that documentary. I won't go into too much about it to save time, um, but I highly recommend watching it. On the topic of Ina Mae Gaskin, she has a book called um, The Guide to Childbirth, and that has, it's full of natural birth stories from breech births, twin births, VBACs, um, footling breach, 
anything that woman can deliver. <laughs> and she does so without harming the baby or the mom. And um, she just busts a whole lot of myths that are out there. Um, birth is a natural and amazing occurrence that you are made to do. So I highly recommend reading that book, um, The Guide to Childbirth by Ina May. There are some things in there that are a little TMI or just maybe might not be so comfortable with and that's okay. So just eat the fish and spit out the bones. Take the positive, take the encouraging and go with that. Um, but fill up on the positive experiences of birth. Another um, book that I highly recommend and class is The Bradley Method of Childbirth. Um, this is by Susan McCrutchen. Let's see the whole thing. Um, I could not get to a class in my area because there wasn't any... Um, childbirth educators that were teaching that in my area that were close enough that had the same schedule that I needed. Um, so I do plan on going and becoming a childbirth educator with the Bradley method. Um, so order that book. If you can't make it to a class, I highly recommend getting to a class though. Go over it with your spouse or your labor coach. It really helps with pain relief later and, um, just educating on how the labor and delivery process goes. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. It has great relaxation tips in it and, um, definitely read through that during your pregnancy. Another one is The Husband Coached Birth, again, on the Bradley Method. And that's been really good. I've been reading that this current pregnancy um, as recommended by the Bradley Method teachers. And that's been really good to, again, read the natural methods of childbirth and just to read how, um, how it so naturally goes whenever you do what's recommended, how your body has been made. Another book that I read um, in my last pregnancy, and I'll read again, is The Christ-Centered Childbirth by Kelly Townsend. This one has all kinds of scriptural affirmations about um, how God has made your body and how God has made your baby and how God um, knit your baby together in your womb from Psalm 139 and how um, birth was made by him and God will bring forth your baby in due time and um, just really good affirmations in that book. And I wrote note cards of some of my favorite scriptures to have handy while I was in labor and waiting those last post due days. Um, that really helped my frame of mind. Another book you can start reading now is um, The Womanly Art of Breastfeeding. And whether you breastfed your other children or not, it's just good to have that fresh in your mind um, and have those tips um, to recall because every baby is different. Every birth is different. And I struggled uh, with breastfeeding with my cesareans, I think, because I was in pain. I was tired. And there was just, it was a different experience. My VBAC baby things did go a lot smoother with that. And um, so I just highly recommend refreshing your mind whenever it comes to breastfeeding. Um, let's see, rest a lot. Rest is important. Yes, exercise. Yes, stay active. And whenever you have other kids, it's hard to rest, but do whatever you can to take that time away to just go lay down, read your books, rest your eyes, um, and just rest your body. Incorporate that into your day. It's very important. Um, chiropractic care is also very important. I, my uh, sacroiliac joint was out prior to pregnancy. Um, with my third. And whenever I started to see a chiropractor, I got that worked on and he put me in alignment. And I really feel like having my spine and my sacroiliac joints um, correct in correct alignment, I really feel like that had a large portion to do with how my labor and delivery went. Um, I didn't have sciatic nerve pain like I did with my first two. I didn't have... Um, it was symphysis pubis dysfunction. I had that with my second. I didn't have it in my third after chiropractic care. Um, so I highly recommend getting with a chiropractor that is trained to take care of pregnant moms. Also, prenatal massages are really important. Um, I was able to have two in my last pregnancy, about 20-something weeks, and that was just bliss. So if you can treat yourself to that, you should do it. Then my second one I had after I was post-due, after 41 weeks, and at that point, I told my massage therapist, hit those trigger points that you know causes labor, do whatever you need to do, I'm ready to go into labor, um, and just relax and just do well. <laughs> and thankfully, that man did everything that he needed to do. I was super relaxed. I think he hit the trigger points because I did eventually go into labor a day or two later. So that was also um, just very, very sweet. I'm glad I had that. Um, Eating dates. It's been recommended to eat dates six times. Um, I mean, sorry, six dates a day. And that is supposed to shorten and ease your labor whenever it comes. It's been reported that it does work. There is actual clinical evidence that it works. Um, so if it's helped other ladies, might as well try it. There's no harm in trying it. 
Um, I'm not positive if it, re if it really did help me. I had a long labor, but um, it didn't do any harm. And so from 37 weeks on, you can eat six dates a day. I chopped mine up really fine. I had medjool dates because I think they tasted a tad better. So I chopped them up fine and blended them with strawberries and blueberries and unsweet uh, vanilla almond milk. And um, it was delicious. It was a really good smoothie. Lastly, you want to make sure you have a supportive birth team. Um, I had a doula and I got my doula to help my husband because I wanted to make sure that he was focusing and I knew that he was going to need that help as well as I. So um, my doula was amazing. Get a doula that's going to support your VBAC. And my midwives, I knew that they were for me and they were for my birth and they were not going to let anything happen. They were going to let me labor as long as I needed to, as long as there wasn't an emergency. Um, and they made sure that I knew that I was capable to birth and that there was no emergency. There was no reason why I couldn't, um, but that they were going to watch and make sure that I was safe and healthy. And I knew that those women were in my corner. I knew that those women had my back and that they were going to help me deliver my baby naturally, vaginally. And thank God they did. And it went great. Um, another tip, um, stretching is also very important. Um, tailored sit stretch is something that um, you may have heard of, and that's just like a sitting sitting down into a low squat. Um, that's supposed to stretch your perineum, so do that quite often. Do your Kegel exercises because that'll help um, the strength of your perineum later on too. Um, and prenatal yoga. I have not been a huge fan of yoga just because I don't like the Hindu practice that comes with it, but um, um, there is a holy yoga video that has a Christian perspective and gives biblical affirmations and scriptures instead of Hindu gods. Um, so if that, if you're a Christian and you're looking for something like that, um, you can try that as well. What else? I think that is it. I tried to go through that quickly so I can post a reasonable video. Um, but if you have any questions, um, for me, I would love to help you. You're more than welcome to message me at healthy faith in the letter N fit at gmail.com, healthyfaithandfit.com, at gmail.com. Um, so yeah, feel free to message me. I'd be happy to answer any questions. Again, if you want to know about 21 Day Fix with the portion control containers to help you with your um, balanced diet, make sure you're getting your fruits and vegetables, um, feel free to message me. I'd be happy to chat with you. Um, all right. Well, I hope this helps and encourages any of you out there on your way to your natural VBAC, um, whether it's your first VBAC or second or a VBAC after two cesareans, whatever it may be. I hope this brings you encouragement. You can do it. You're going to rock your VBAC.